This is X Genius again. Today we learn how to create a digital product. First, go to our admin panel. Here is our admin panel. Now, first go to the digital product section, all product. When you come here, you can see the list of your digital product. And if there is no digital product, this section will be empty. You can uh, click the add new product from here or you can also click add new product from the sidebar. After that, you will uh, this this after that this page will come where you can put the product name. This uh, you, you don't need to put any slug. This slug will generate automatically. Like we can put a uh, name like after that put any summary here and your desired description uh, you can write here any file you have included in the product and after that you can add the version number here the release date you can select release date and if you uh, you if you have updated the product you can also select the updated date here and you can put in preview link if your product is previewable and you can also add quantity if it is applicable in your product these sections are optional you can also see that there is a tag uh, top right side so these fields are optional if you don't want to put then no problem your product will be okay without these fields after this section go to price and tax first you have to select the tax if you have any tax for this product you can select from here if i select this after that you have to put the regular price for example 100 dollar or the currency you have selected just put the amount here and if your product has sale price put here if you don't have any sale price keep it empty and if your product is free for certain time you can select the date uh, if you select the free date it means uh, till this date the product will be free for everyone and this is promotional date uh, if you select any promotional date, uh, the, the, the product will have a promotional price until that date. So if you select promotional date, you have to add promotional price like 80. This means uh, till May 30, the product price will be $80. After, after this date, the product will go to its real regular price which is 100 after filling all the fields the necessary fields go to additional field you can select the author of this product the pages it means the pages number if applicable the language uh, the desired language you have uh, you have in your product select that it's also uh, optional and if if you see you have to select it if it's uh, applicable the formats of that product the word count the tool you have used the database if you used the computable browsers operating system and the resolutions if you are giving high resolution or low resolution the all fields are optional and you have to select them if it's applicable in your digital product after that there is a section like product additional custom field info it is totally independent like uh, if there is anything uh, that, that is not mentioned before and the, the field is not present in the system you can add the you can add the feature or add the field here first you have to add the field name and its value for example um, if you want to mention the product size like size and uh, the product size is 5 
MD. Just it's, it's just an example. If you say that there is no field like size and 5 MB, but if you want to show, then you can put the name of the field and the value of the field. You can add multiple as many as you want. You can add from here. So after selecting, after adding all the fields from here, go to categories, select your desired categories. And if you want to add subcategory, child category, select them. If you don't want, okay, that's not problem. Subcategory and child category are optional. After selecting this, go to files and image. You have to add the file that the, the file you are going to add in this e product. So you have to add the file here, then the featured image. This image will be shown everywhere after before you open the product. You can also call it like thumbnail. And you can also add image gallery, multiple images. These images will be shown when you open the product. It means uh, the product details page. You will see th these images. After filling all of this, you go to tags and labels. You can add any tags like uh, the book. It's multiple. And if you have any tags or labels, sorry, uh, if, if you have any labels, you can select here. After selecting this, go to product matter and fill the product matters for Facebook, Twitter, general matter. After that, you go to refund policy, add your refund policy the way uh, that you want to save the policy and hit create product. After creating the product, the product will be listed here. You can see I have already created some product before. And you can see the name, images, the type, the category, the price from here and the status also. You can uh, edit the product from here. You can create clone. You can create, you can delete the product. From this section, you can uh, visit, you can browse your products like uh, here are 10 products. You can uh, change the numbers of the product, uh, the list of the product. You can select 10, 25, 100. So 100 product will be shown. And the one of the most important important thing in this section is trash uh, usually the people do a mistake like when they delete any product they think it's the product is deleted but no our system has trash in like your uh, mac like your uh, windows the recycle bin so when you delete any product the product will not be deleted permanently. It will store in the trash section. So when you go to trash, you will see your deleted products. You can restore the product from here or you can also delete the product forever, like permanently from the system. So if I delete this from here, the product will be deleted from a system permanently. So it was our digital product section, digital product manage. Uh, thank you for time. Thank you.